Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. I shoot both film and digital. And today I'm going to talk about gear, but I'm going digital. If you were looking for a camera that's quite a bargain right now, because it came out so long ago, I think it came out in 2008, and it's lost most of its value and depreciation, but that doesn't mean it still doesn't work well. I think my favorite camera for shooting black and white is the Leica M8. I bought this used for like maybe $1,700 a few years ago. I see them as low as $1,000 now, and I don't have a Leica lens on this one. I just like the way this renders with a 35 millimeter 1.4 Voigtlander, and that's only a four or $500 lens used. And this combination works so well for black and white. It has an issue with color unless you use infrared cut filters with each lens. But for black and white work, and that's what I use it for, I was just on a movie set and we needed to shoot three stills that look like they came from a photojournalist back in the 70s. And we wanted to shoot something, they wanted it to be digital still, but they wanted it to have a black and white look that was better or the strongest black and white look we could use. And I used this for that. And it worked perfectly. And there's something about the way this renders black and white. And I believe you can put infrared filters on it and you can actually shoot infrared with this. But I haven't done that, so I can't really report. But the Leica M8 is one of those cameras that has just come down so far in price. And you'll probably, whatever you pay, you'll lose some too when it drops further because nothing digital holds its value like the film cameras. But if you're looking for a solid camera, rather inexpensive in general terms, $1,400 or $1,500 still isn't cheap. But if you want a solid piece of brass that's really going to be, you know, something that you can dedicate for your black and white work, it's what I really, really enjoy using. Even more so than my M9, which I use for color, and I like the full frame on it, but the M8 for black and white, it just seems to sing better for me, and that's just the way it goes. I have a match technical brass thumbs up on this one, which makes it really easy to hold. Those are expensive and worth it, but if you can't afford them, they are, there are plastic versions out there that are only five or ten dollars, and those work well too. But it, they're just not the, you know, as solid as this brass one from Match Technical. All right, that's today's photography talk. Good black and white camera. Maybe you have one. If you do, post some pictures in the links below so we can see some. And uh, I will bring you some more camera talks soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.